Right now at five, this teen waits in jail to show his face in court two months after he hit and killed Layla Aiken at her bus stop, then drove away. I have mixed emotions, the kid's so young, you know what I mean? But uh, again, um, you know, you gotta be, uh, you gotta be, take responsibility. This morning, team coverage as Layla's family gets ready to fight for justice. Now a better warning for your family before you get in the water. The EPA is creating criteria to keep you safe from blue-green algae. The piece that just I came, that came over me um, is a remarkable feeling. Relief after this serial killer is executed in Florida. This morning, one of the women brutally raped and held by Bobby Joe Long speaks out. There's less than a week of school left as you scramble to make summer plans. The fruit-inspired snacks that are kid-tested, mom-approved. This is 19-year-old Logan Hetherington. Cape Coral Police arrested him for hitting and killing 8-year-old Aiken at her bus stop in March. Layla's father tells Wink News that after weeks of waiting for this arrest, he finally received the news that he'd been waiting for yesterday while he was at work. Now, police made this arrest, and he tells us it's one step forward, but his family is still hurting. Son is, uh, you know, he's he's been taking it. He's been taking it really hard. You know, it's been hard on him. And, uh, yeah, we're just... Uh, Taking a day at a time. So, you know, if we're happy, it's closure for sure. Now, Layla's father says Her Hetherington's family is also, um, he's sure, dealing with a loss as the 19 year old sits in jail. He says as he waits for the outcome of the charges he faces, Layla's father says he's praying for Hetherington's family. He does have a history of speeding on the road. He went to traffic school for speeding in 2017, and just last year he pleaded guilty for failing to yield at a four way stop. Now, people all across Southwest Florida are reacting to the arrest, including spamming his social media. We found a post he shared on Facebook Wednesday joking about driving 110 miles per hour. Soon after, police announced his name as a suspect in Layla's death. Comments flooded his Facebook profile, calling him a coward, saying he lacks a conscience and hundreds of other things. Neighbors say the overall arrest is upsetting. Overall, I'm shocked. It's upsetting especially in the neighborhood. In March, police traced that truck involved with the hit and run to ABC Supply Company in Cape Coral where Hetherington works. Many still wonder why the teen never came forward about the hit. Get ready for action coming up how many soldiers the president wants to send to the Middle East. First, watch out for dead dolphins this weekend. We'll show you the problem that's in the water. Hardly any red tide right now in Southwest Florida. Noah says since July 2018, up until now, almost 200 dolphins have stranded themselves from it. We caught crews on camera cleaning up the lifeless creatures last year. You can see them taking them off the beach there. Noah is calling it an unusual mortality event, which is a significant die-off that's unexpected and demanding immediate response. But it's happened before. They say from 2005 to 2006, about 190 dolphins died from the exposure to the red tide toxins. I think it's absolutely horrific. I'm, I'm devastated by that because dolphins are a beautiful... 21-year-old Jake Patterson was sentenced to life without the chance of parole for the kidnapping of Jamie Kloss and the murder of her parents. Patterson spoke before his sentencing saying he regretted what he did. The judge was not moved. I would do, like, absolutely anything to think back what I did, you know. <laughs> I, I would die. You are the embodiment of evil. And the public can only be safe if you are incarcerated until you die. Jamie Kloss was not in the courtroom for the sentencing, but she wrote a statement that was read out loud. In it, she said, you thought you could... Well, these tiny little plastic pellets here, they may look harmless, but they can actually be deadly for animals. They're called nurdles. Companies use them to make new plastic products like water bottles or sunglasses, but they're often lost in the transfer process and then they collect in our water. That's why the Nurdle Patrol headed to Southwest Florida yesterday to help pick them up. And they're asking for your help because the nurdles can hurt fish, sea turtles, and birds. There's over 200 volunteers around the Gulf of Mexico that go to their favorite beach and spend 10 minutes looking for plastic pellets. I want to go out and try because it almost seems like a challenge, like a detective hunt. Well, in June, you can try. You can go to nerdlepatrol.org and find a new interactive map where you can log on from your phone, add data, and zoom into your beach to see how many nerdles were found there. This man's facing multiple charges right now after leaving a trail of more than just broken hearts. Los Angeles police say Wilson Jackson has been scamming women out of money while using fake social media accounts. Be careful who you date. 
Police say Jackson met women online, convinced them to fly to Los Angeles, and while they were sleeping or out of the room, he would steal from them before asking them for a loan. A family member of one of the victims says it's devastating what he does to these women. He preys on nurses, he preys on educated women, yeah. women that have degrees. It's devastating. And police say he has at least 20 victims. Police here in Florida reported that reportedly have dozens more dating back as far as.